As you can see on the screen right now, it was a very hot day a few months ago as we were standing outside celebrating a brand new EV charging installation station that will happens to be at the Clarksburg condominium. And I have on the phone Robert, and he's going to talk to us about how this all came together. So again, thank you for joining me and um, congratulations. Absolutely. My, my pleasure to be here. Let's talk about... I read the case study. The case study is off of the uh, site, which people will see right now. It's the migrainemontgomery.org site. And there is a long case study on how you put this together. Now, keep this in mind for everybody who's looking at home. People would like to charge at home. They don't want to go out to any charging, public charging stations. They would like to have the convenience of charging home. And if you live in a condominium, that's just not happening for you. So how did you break that gridlock of getting that approved? Uh, so you really, if I have to sum it up, it's just pure passion. Passion for energy independence, right? So that's pretty much what, that's what drives me. So it was not an easy uh, project to accomplish. The biggest challenges you will actually have to deal with with condominiums is the politics, mm -hmm. the bylaws, and you know whatever uh, whatever rules there are and regulations that you have to pretty much go you know go and follow them and make sure that you satisfy every single piece. Right. So once you have that out of uh, out of the your way, then you have to present this to the uh, uh, residents because you need to have their support because yeah. that's the money of the association that you're going to invest in this infrastructure. Yeah, so that's a good point. You are the HOA uh, president, right? If, I, if I'm correct by saying correct, that. Correct, yes. Okay. So we, ha we have a board of uh, directors and uh, I currently hold the position to be a president. Right. Yes. So a lot of people are not on EV, as you know. You know this very, very well. So if you're going to do something for the very uh, minority and the vast majority of people who do not have EVs, not even thinking about getting EVs, I'm sure you got a lot of pushback, as you indicated uh, in your previous comment. How did you get that that community support behind you? I mean, I knew it must. I, you, you've already explained a little bit on it. You touched on it that it was difficult. But what was the breaking point that finally decided that this is going to be uh, approved? Uh, we had to vote. So we were waiting until residents, homeowners cast the vote. Mm hmm. So, um, but the, the, it was just, so it's 40 unit association and I tried to call or meet every single individual, right? right. So it took me weeks, close probably to a month or so, just to get to those individuals, to give them the information, what I am trying to achieve. And that's how, and how it's going to affect them as association, you know, parking situation as, a, as well as financial impact, which in our case, we were extremely well positioning financially there was no increase in condo fees there was no additional assessment so it's pretty much uh, you can look at it as a, as a free amenity for that association right so but, you, you said it was 40 people that you had to reach out so how close was the vote i do not know the specific number but we needed to have two-thirds positive confirmation affirmation meaning that i need to have at least two-thirds yes mm -hmm. and those that did not vote that would be counted as a no i got you Right. So after you got a two thirds vote, then here comes the big thing. You mentioned uh, the cost. And I noticed that in your write up, it will actually put investment, more investment in a townhome that has electric charging. When someone wants to uh, purchase a new home and they may have an EV. I believe so. Absolutely. And the way I position to the homeowners, obviously, you cannot guarantee that uh, the, va the property value will go up. Mm -hmm. But I position myself explaining that now the pool of individuals that would like to buy into this condominium, it would increase because now you're going to have those EV owners that will be fighting to get in and buy your place. Okay. So more demand, obviously the price would go up, right? Naturally, you would say. That's correct. So briefly, how did all this come with now with the cost? You had to do permitting. You had to get the equipment. You had juice boxes. You have six charging stations, though, by the way. How did this all come together with the, the, the money that has to be put into the, af into the actual infrastructure? So let me start with this. Uh, <clears throat> since, uh, you know, we've been out managing our association very well for the last, you know, let's say six years, we were in much better financial situation where we 
have a surplus and we have un uh, unallocated uh, cash reserves, meaning that that's the money that what should we do? Should we put towards the cash reserves or do some sort of investments or maybe lower individuals account of fees? So we have this luxury in a way, but we really worked hard, uh, hard on it for the you know several years. Mm -hmm. Right. So with that said, I knew that there would be no financial impact uh, to the uh, homeowners. So I already, how can I put it? I knew what I wanted. I wanted to have an EV charging station. So I went out and I started researching. Again, this is, did not happen. I've been always reading about EVs. Um, you know, so I was well aware what's out there. What equipment can I get? Commercial grade we're talking about because uh, the ones we have, you will pay as you go. So think about this regular gas stations, whoever uh, uh, parks the car plugs it in, they pay with the credit cards, right? Right. And the biggest breaking point was uh, two years ago, 2020, early 20, middle of 2020, when I learned about the second rebate from Potomac Edison. In the, we always have been having here in Maryland energy administration rebates for the EV charging stations. And when the second rebate from Potomac Edison EV driven program popped in, that was a totally different ballgame because now I can stack them up so I could get 40% up to $4,000 per station and installation from the state of Maryland, Energy Department, Energy Administration, and 50% up to $5,000 from Potomac Edison per charging station installed. Wow. Wow. So we talk about up to 9000 per unit. Wow. So, but no, so once you do the math, it's like, okay, out of pocket, the amount is doable. And I was trying to explain as well this to the residents. Our window of opportunity is very narrow and it's closing. I mean, my close tomorrow or my close next month because this is the first come, first serve when it comes to the rebates. Do the residents who have EVs, do they have to pay for charging or is that free? And a better question is, you don't want anybody just to come off the road to charge their um, their cars. So how is that monitored? So yes, our EV charging stations they are commercial commercial grade, meaning that you have to pay to use them, and we as association have a full control of setting the price per kilowatt hour. I got you. So at the moment we set the rate for uh, class Brook condo owners at twenty cents per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And since we do not have uh, many EV owners at the association currently, meaning that, you know, we'll be just sitting uh, unused, decision was made to make it public. So now anybody, neighbors or somebody passing by can stop by, plug it in and charge at, uh, at, at fee. And those public uh, fees are 30 cents a kilowatt hour, which is relatively competitive uh, what's out there uh, anywhere you go. Well, again, congratulations. Um, I, actually, I'm, I'm fl you told me about this a couple of years ago and it, it came to fruition. And now to see it in person, I actually thought about it driving home like, man, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure someone's going to try to follow the same footprint. And thank God someone um, did the article on you. And I'm going to post it at the bottom of the screen, as most people are seeing right now. And check out the case study EV charger installation at Clarksburg Condominium. Robert, congratulations and good job. Thank you, Priscilla. My pleasure.